Your SC1 comes with a 15,000 milliamp smart battery. Before you start the connection process, please be sure your smart battery is fully charged. To check the charging meter on your smart battery, there is a button located on the side of the smart battery. Push the button to see how much power the smart battery has. All four lights mean you are at full charge. To connect the smart battery to your SE1, you will have to open the front pocket. The SE1 has an alphanumeric combination lock. The default word for the lock is luck. The word luck will unlock the case. Once you have the correct password in the lock, slide the button forward to unlock the front pocket. Unzip the front pocket and inside there will be another pocket for the battery with four USB wires. There is one yellow USB, two black USBs and one mini USB. There is also a yellow border around one of the USB ports on the smart battery. Plug in the yellow USB into the yellow port. The two remaining black USBs can be plugged into the other two ports. It does not matter which way you plug them in, just as long as the yellow USB goes to the yellow USB port. The mini USB will go to the mini USB port. Once you plug in the yellow cable, you'll notice the lights blinking on top of the case four times. This is to let you know that the SC1 has power. Once you have powered the SC1, you can close the front pocket. When closing the front pocket, you will notice our signature hugging zipper pullers. To use these zippers, you will notice there are two slots, a male end and a female end. Insert the male end into the female end and insert into the lock. Now, your case is locked. When you first open the Space Case 1 app, you'll be prompted to the login screen. In this screen, you will begin the registration process. To register the case, tap the icon on the bottom left-hand corner labeled Register Case. You will then access a screen with a camera icon. Tap the camera icon to take a picture of your receipt. If you do not have a receipt, take an image of the case. Once you have taken a picture of the receipt or your luggage piece, tap Use Photo. After you tap Use Photo, you will be sent to the next screen with a large QR code in the center. Tap the QR code in the center and you will see an image of an open luggage piece and where to find the QR code so you can enter the style number. You have two options in getting the style number registered. The first one is scan the QR code and the second one is enter the style number. To scan the QR code, tap the button that reads scan QR code and the QR reader will pop up. Hold your phone over the QR code to scan. To enter the style number manually, Tap the bottom button labeled Enter the Style Number and type the style number located on the care tag. Once you've scanned the QR code or entered the style number, press OK and you'll get a pop-up saying Scan Successful. Close that pop-up. Once you've closed that pop-up, tap the Continue button to complete the registration process. To complete your registration process, you will be prompted to a final screen. In this screen, you will enter your personal information, username and password for your SC1. It is very important to remember your username and password because once you've done completing this form, you will be prompted to enter that information again to gain access to your case. Once you fill out your personal information, you'll come to an area saying Binding your suitcase. Click the Bluetooth button and you'll see a number appear. Please make sure that this number is not 0000. Tap the number and then the number will now appear in the Binding Suitcase Entry field. Underneath the Binding Suitcase Entry field, you will enter the SC1 username. In this field, you will enter the name of that particular case so you can identify it in the event that you have multiple cases registered. Once you have completed all of the fields, please click the Register button. Once you've clicked the register button, a pop-up will appear asking to add a new product or if the registration is complete. If you have another product, tap Add New Product and repeat all the steps. If you only have one product, you can click Registration Complete to continue to the main screen. Once you click Registration Complete, you're going to be directed to the login page. You'll be prompted to enter your username and password. Type in your login information and click the login icon on the bottom center. Once you log in, the app will automatically connect and you'll know you've connected by seeing the name of the case on the bottom.